you know, just, just trying to get a job because, you know, with my age and with my background, nobody was really even looking at me. Well, when I was uh, at the place where, you know, I was in recovery at, we, uh, we had to stay for 30 days because we weren't allowed to go out and find a job, nothing like that. And then after my 30 days, I was trying to find a job. And uh, I was having a real hard, hard time doing that because of how, you know, how my background is. You know what I mean? I got a really, you know, long background, pretty lengthy. And uh, so I went to, uh, I, I got into a program and then did their Trades for Success program and everything like that, which got me introduced to a bunch of things that I was really interested in to, you know, get into the trades. And then uh, I ended up hooking up with Justin at the, uh, at, at the rehab I was at. And he, you know, was helping me look for jobs and stuff like that. And then I finally, I finally found one after uh, working a restaurant down here on the levee. And uh, I'm, I'm doing that right now part time. Well, not part time, but like it's full time. But then I just started school and everything else too, you know, for for an industry that I want to go into from, you know, from where I was at the Tracy Success thing. My days off of work, I go to school, so they they switch my days off for each semester. Well, he helped me with interviews. He helped me uh, decide where I was going to go to. Uh, he helped me figure out, you know, uh, how to get into school and everything like that. Yeah, practice interviews, know what to say, uh, or a list of, you know, the list of things that employers want to hear, you know, things like that. It it kept me knowing what to say and when to say it. You know, what I mean, that you don't want to be sitting there thinking like, well, if they ask you where you see yourself in five years, or your strengths or your weaknesses that you want to know right off the bat what your strengths and weaknesses are. Plus, you want to know, you want to tell them how to remedy, you know, what you're doing to remedy your, your weaknesses. You know, you know, you don't want a big pause and all that. Oh, I felt, yeah, I was good. I was real prepared. You know, I'd be going and be real professional and polite. What impressed me the most about Justin is that, you know, he's, he's been through it. He's like me, you know what I mean? And he gave me inspiration that, like, you know, I can, if he can do it, I can do it, you know what I mean? And he just, you know, guided me to where I am now. I got a year and a half left of uh, school. I'm going for industrial electrical maintenance, you know, so I got a year and a half of that, so after, after next semester, I'll be at a level one maintenance tech, and I'll be able to, you know, get a decent, really decent paying job from there. Well, yeah, which I'll be certified in HVAC, electrical, uh, welding, pretty much everything. Oh yeah, I'm not, I'm confident. I'm not hopeful. I'm confident. I know that there's more door, there's more doors open that are closing. You know what I mean? Uh, I just appreciate everything everybody's helped me out with, for real, because it's totally turned my life around 300 or 180 degrees, you know, and without it, I wouldn't be where I'm at now.